The Galaxy S20 Black Screen of Death issue, while it may seem like a serious problem, is actually just a pretty minor one, provided that your device does not have any signs of physical or liquid damage. Most of the time, the black screen issue is just due to a firmware crash. It's something that you can definitely fix on your own, and it would usually take just a few minutes to do it, depending on how the issue occurred. In this video, I will show you how to fix Galaxy S20 black screen of death issue. First solution, perform the forced restart. The forced restart must be the first thing that you need to do when you're troubleshooting a phone with a black screen issue. It's a simulated battery removal that refreshes your phone's memory and reload all its apps and services. Here's how it's done. Press and hold the volume down button and the power key for 10 seconds. This would be enough to trigger the phone to boot up. When the logo shows on the screen, release both keys and just wait for the phone to boot up completely. However, if your device is still unable to turn on, proceed to the next solution. Second solution, charge and forced restart your phone. You only have to do this procedure if your S20 did not respond with the first solution. It is possible that the battery is drained or there's not enough power left to even make the screen flicker. It is also possible that the firmware crashed before the battery was drained. So, here's what you need to do. Plug the power adapter to a working wall outlet. Using the original cable, connect your Galaxy S20 to its charger. Regardless of whether the phone shows the charging sign or not, leave it connected to its charger for at least 10 minutes. After such time, press and hold the volume down and the power key while the phone is still charging. If the logo shows, release both keys and wait until the device has finished rebooting. Basically, these are the only procedures you have to do on your end to fix the Galaxy's 20 black screen of death issue. However, if your phone is still not responding or turning on after doing these, then it's time to bring it to the tech, because the problem can be with the hardware. That's it, I hope that this simple tutorial has been helpful. We would appreciate it if you can like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.